everyone. My name is Anna Marie and I'm with Celebrate Creations. I just received my Dragonfly glazes and I'm pretty excited because they look gorgeous. Um, I like to use different kind of mediums on a lot of my projects, whether it's mica powders, paints, paste, just different kind of mediums. And before um, I put anything on a project, I like to know um, what it's going to look like. So what I'm going to do is do a really quick tutorial on these um, for a reference point for me. And um, I'm going to put some on white clay, black clay, and translucent clay. And some are going to be baked and unbaked just to see what they look like because they will look different on different colors. Um, like I said, these are glazes, but um, it's going to be exciting to see what they look like. They are from Plaid. And uh, let's see, this one is green, gold, and red shift. Let me see that green and the gold. And this one is red, violet, and blue shift. Red, violet, and blue. And this one is gold, red, and violet shift. There we go. Gold, red. Okay. This one is blue, green, and gold shift. See those colors are actually stunning. This one is violet, blue, and green shift. And this one is the mother of all shifts. This is full spectrum shift. And apparently it's supposed to have all the colors in it. So I'm pretty excited to see what this is gonna look like. It looks <laughs> nice here so let's see hopefully we were pleasantly surprised so let's get started and I'm going to put them on um, unbaked clay first and see what it looks like and then move into um, baked so let's get started okay everyone here's my white black and translucent and what I did is I numbered them from one to six one to six and I marked each bottle with the number one through six and that way I won't get lost and I'll keep a track of what it looks like on each um, color so the first one I'm going to use is um, the green gold and red shift and I'll put it on all the ones going to use a simple brush so let's just spread this around And if you notice, it all looks white, but apparently it's supposed to change colors once it dries. I put a very simple pattern on just so I can see um, what it would look like. It's interesting. Okay, well, I'm going to move on and put all the other colors on, matching colors, matching numbers, and see what happens.
Okay, I put all the colors on and I'm going to go ahead and let them dry and see how they do. Black looks like it's doing fantastic. Look at that. You can see all those different colors. The white's not so much, but I'm sure a couple of colors, a couple of, let see. So let's see what they look like. I'm going to let them dry and I'll be back. Okay, these are the baked ones and they've cured for 24 hours so they should be completely dry. Um, what I did to these um, also is I put a double coat on one side and single coat on the other and that way it'll give me a point of reference you know of how deep I want to go with the color. So the first one is green, gold, and red and you can see that green, gold, and red and this is the white clay and let's see what it looks like. Well, you can see the green and the gold. So there it is. Depending how intense you want, you want to do that coat, but Actually, it looks okay with the single coat on that, on the white. This is a translucent. And this one picked up a little bit more color. You can see the red in that, and the green, and the gold. And this is the black clay. So you can see the double coat and the single coat. It's got a lot of good shimmer, so that's actually very pretty, because I love that. And that's number one. Okay, and this is number two. This one is the gold, red, and violet. You can see that violet, the gold, and the red in there. Here's the white. See if I can get that shimmer in there. There we go. I have to say, these are very pretty paints or glazes, not paints. They're glazes. And let's see, here's the translucent. And you're getting the gold and very subtle red and very subtle violet. And the black. And again, this has gorgeous shimmer. Gorgeous. And like I did say earlier, I noticed that on the first one and the second, colors almost look alike. They're just a hair off, but they do look alike. So, here's number three. And this one is the red, violet, and blue. See that red, the violet, and the blue. There it is. And here's the white. And you can see very little shifting, but it's there. It is there. See? And here's a translucent. This one's got a little bit more shifting in it than the white. And here is the black. 
which I find all these colors do better on the darker clay. So that's nice to know because I do use a lot of black. That's beautiful. Uh -huh. That's three. Here's number four. And this one is blue, green, and gold. So you can see that green and the gold and the blue. <clears throat> There's the translucent. You can see that shifting in there. It's actually very pretty. You can see a lot of the gold and green. And you got hints of blue. And here's the white. Okay. You got really nice shifting on the double coat there. And here is the dark black clay. That has wonderful shimmer. That green is absolutely gorgeous with the gold. Just beautiful. That I can see making a few pieces with. So that's, here's number five. And this one is violet, blue, and green. You see that? And here's the white. And this one, you can see the blue shifting. And the violet. And you got hints of green. Hints of green. And here's a translucent. I just love the way these things shimmer. Just, I love a lot of glitter. These are gorgeous. And the black. And I'm just amazed how different they look. And the same glazes, but on different colors of clay. It's amazing how different they look. So, there's the five. And here's the six. And this one is the full spectrum. This is the one I was really curious about so it's supposed to have all the colors in it and let's see the white let's see if i can get this you can see some shifting a little bit of shifting there And here's the translucent, which this one has quite a bit of shifting. And it's actually very pretty. Look at that. That double coat is really nice. And here is the black. And this one I am so excited about. Look at that. It's just stunning. It's gorgeous. It's got so much shifting in there and it's just and just depending on how intense you want it to get you would layer it but this double coat is 
I can see a lot of projects with that one. Absolutely. So that's the number six. So that's my reference point. Um, please don't forget to subscribe and I hope it'll help you because it will help me because I'll know exactly what color I want to achieve and I'll use that clay to create that color that I am looking for in a specific project. So um, the unbaked, I wanted to give you um, a heads up on the one that was unbaked. I baked it and it came out exactly like these. So whether you put it on um, unbaked or baked in the end, it still comes out the same. So personally, I think I would do it on the baked clay because it's easier to handle the clay and manipulate without having to distort your project when you're painting um, instead of having to put it on unless you want it in a specific area. But other than that, I would just put it on baked clay. It'd be easier um, and it's the results are the same. So I hope that helps you. And if you, you know, want to see more tutorials, don't forget to subscribe. And um, see you in the next one.